Hey everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit. Uh, it's just been busy. It's been busy. We got a lot of things going on. Uh, we're going to pretty much get into right now. We're getting into Christmas stuff. So I know, I know, I got some trees on my Facebook. A lot of people, a lot of these channels are doing trees right now, and I apologize. It's just that time of the year. It's that time of the year to start doing trees, carving trees, making stuff. Uh, you know, seasonal stuff. But uh, I know you've seen me make like the trees and things like that you can get on my facebook instagram whatever and you'll see my my trees on there uh we're gonna do something different today we are going to make a uh i guess you would call it like a slab relief relief carving live edge wall art yeah one of those things we're gonna make one of those things today this is about three and a half foot tall all it is is just a, a basic design but it they turn out awesome i like the relief carvings i like the I like the uh, the wall art and stuff like that. It's cold out here today. It's a lot chilly. The wind's going. I got my burn bar barrel rocking right now. Yeah, it's going. So uh, we're getting ready to get started. Getting ready to get started. So give me just a minute. I'll get set up and we'll go a step by step. We're going to do a cut by cut. Uh, this is really simple. This is a really good, uh, you know, you're just getting into carving. This is one of those really good things to get onto. So I'm going to hit you with the intro and we'll be right back. You know, it's time to get to work. All right, welcome back. Uh, let me take my earplugs out real quick. Uh, as you can see, all I have right here is like a two inch by two and a half foot, maybe like 13 by 14. This is a slab, pine, pine slab, two inches thick. I can tell you, I can tell you. Because sometimes, like, I was a really particular person and I really want to know, like, true dimensions. Uh, we're at about 15 inches wide and 30 inches long. Okay? Simple. Simple. This is where you get to go know your uh, sawmill dude. Your mom and pop sawmills. The dude that has two dudes that work at a sawmill. Like, you go up to them like, hey, I need some slabs. And this is how you get to know some. You get out in your community. You get to know people. Anyways. As you, can saw, as you saw in there, real simple design. We're not going to overdo this. This is, uh, you can go as intricate as you want, of course, but I don't want to. I think sometimes simple, simpler is better. So we're going to give it a little bit of a header right here. We're going to give it some, you know, some, the main idea is to put the tree design and then cut out some negative space and, and then have your tree popping, popping through to make it stand out. So we're gonna give a little bit of a header, something to, to catch on top. This will be your header up here. And then we're gonna give about an inch and a half, maybe two inches on the sides. Come down. And then we're gonna give, give it a footer, you know, a couple inches at the bottom. Just give it kind of something sturdy to sit up off the floor. And that looks like about an inch and a half. I'm just eyeballing this, okay? I'm not. This is where your creativity comes through. I got a knot down here. I want to really show and pop through. You know what? We'll even maybe make this bevel up here to the top. That way it's not true in any form. It doesn't look like squares. This is just a cutout. Bam. There's your circle. Now, when you do these relief cuts, you want to have at least, I like to have as many points touching as possible, but also having that open space. So we're just gonna do a simple tree design. I want my tree, I'm gonna do just like that one. I want my tree to kind of come into this corner, okay? And we're gonna, the limbs are gonna come out and touch over here on this side. We'll have it kind of meeting in this corner again. And limbs will touch over here on this side. Let's tighten that up a little bit more. Right. Limbs will touch on this side. Kind of have a slope right there, down to there, and then your uh, tree trunk will be touching right there. So I have several points, several points of contact onto the main pieces of beam. I got one, two, three, and a big section on the floor for the trunk. But I'm also going to have one, two, three, four open spaces. So I mean, a lot of open, but a lot of pieces touching, and that just makes it stronger. That way you don't have to worry about your piece falling apart breaking as much you know more durability for the customer you don't want you don't want your stuff to be breaking and then somebody's mad at you for it just good rule of thumb good rule of thumb take care of people anyways the best you can anyways 
All right, that's how it's on, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna keep you rolling, because, uh, you know, I want you to see kind of how simple, I got it in my jaw horse, I like my jaw horse. It works. I wish you could, I'm short, I'm 5'3", and this jaw horse is too tall for me sometimes. I don't like working with my arms up here a lot. Jaw horse, <laughs> Rockwell, fix these legs where I can shorten this thing, okay? I want to be able to shorten it. It aggravates me. I'm short. You give me shoulder problems. <laughs> My face is cold, okay? My face is cold. It's cold out here. All right. Just stay with me. Here we go. Maybe it'll start. I pre-warmed it. I'm just letting you know, I pre-warmed it. Because it did not want to stop. Put my earplugs in. I'm gonna tell you what I'm using real quick too. I'm just using the 170, still 170. And the reason why I'm going with this and not starting off with my Echo and other things, I feel like a lot of people are gonna have this saw. It's just an economical saw, it works. You can buy the, the dime tip stuff for it, still does a really good job. I like my Echoes, but they do a crappy job of getting you quarter pitch stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing, hard thing. But anyways, I'm using the 170 with the 12, 12 inch dime tip bar, quarter pitch. I wanted to use this that way. I know I think a lot of y'all will be using this, so that's why we'll all be on the same page if I use this. All right, but I am gonna switch over to another one just because. All right, we're gonna do first. Let's cut out our line. We're gonna cut out this tree. Oh, 
Emma. All right, we got a tree shape. Simple, wham, bam. There it is. No big deal, simple to do. Cut it out. Now on these trees, I do like to leave like a little bit of a bevel on the side and I'll shape that up right now. We're all we're gonna do now, just to, uh, have this kind of to recess this back in we're gonna cut up here but we're not gonna cut all the way through maybe like i don't know three quarters of an inch and we'll try we'll be we'll slope this in a little bit okay that way it's not all the same field it's to create those different depths we're gonna do the same thing down here we're gonna do the same thing with these limbs this limb but as you can still see i'm not i did not cut through the ends of my limbs and i still have my trunk here it's all still attached in a square you know at the top sides and bottom so it's really really structurally sound structurally sound right now let's keep on going <laughs> the shape so far uh all we're gonna do now is start decorating our tree you know no big deal no big deal think about what type of tree design you want and just put it in i'm gonna go just with the down etch into the middle nothing fancy
swapped over. That's right. The MS-170 with an 8-inch top 10 cannon bar. I do like the 8-inch bar, but it does not help doing the beveling and the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I do like the 8-inch bar, but it is zero good for trying to bevel up on flat pieces of wood. You just can't get in there tight enough. You're, you're running into, you know, your soul's running into stuff. But I do like the detail with it. Nice. Nice. Short arms. Kind of like a T-Rex. Anyway, we're going to start putting the, putting the layers in. Just start putting your limbs in. <laughs> Get you a closer, closer look here. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I'll touch it up in just a little bit, but uh, yeah, they're not good. Wham bam, the gift that that one person for the person that has everything. Wham bam. And then all we'll do now is just clean up this edges. Uh, throw some fire on it, 
sand it down just like all the other stuff. Uh, but this is pretty well done. You can either leave this plain. I'm not going to keep showing you on this just because uh, I'm pretty well done with my design. I'm going to just clean up my edges. I may take, you know, I'll take chainsaw and clean up a little bit, shape up this outside, you know, round off the top a little bit on these edges. I'll just show you what I'm going to do on this other one because uh, I don't want to waste your time. Sorry. Let me just just take you off here bam that's a lot easier i just don't want to waste your time but a few minutes get one popped out and uh yeah i think they look awesome i really like these trees you know just uh simple designs like on this one all i did was you know put a couple saw marks in here threw a little bit of fire onto it and uh just sanded it down I am going to paint it. I'm going to paint it the green. Maybe take the airbrush and put a little white down it. Maybe that'll look pretty. That'll look pretty. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked the quick little tutorial. Yeah, just figure out a shape you want. And, you know, you can mark it out real quick. And then, you know, start putting in your lines, you know, on these Christmas trees. You know, think about what Christmas trees look like. You know, put, you know, your deeper lines in. And, you know, I may... Once I hit this with the fire, I may put in another cut right here just to finish it off. But uh, think about your lines. Think about how things go. Take your saw back to the room. You know, make it look choppy. And then once you burn it, sand it, kabam. Kabam. Done. All right, I got work to do. I just wanted to touch base with you. I know it's been a few, it's been about a week since I've done a video. A week or a week and a half. It's been busy. Been busy. Got things to do. Things to do. All right. Well, y'all have some great holidays coming up. I think uh, uh, it's only the 12th. Still a couple weeks away from Thanksgiving. But it's cold. It's cold in Kentucky right now. Looks like it's about to pour down rain out here. There's the blue truck. Somebody's wanting to know about the blue truck. Didn't get rid of that thing. That's a beast. Rebuilt it. Yeah. Did it all myself. Anyways. All right. Y'all have a good day. Everybody be nice to everybody. You know, just be happy out there. A lot of sad, not sad stuff. Just a lot of mean, a lot of angry people, I guess. Angry people out there. No reason to be angry. Sometimes things just are what they are. All right, y'all have a good day. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, I wanted to give you one last little tidbit. I came back out here this morning. I went ahead and finished, like I... Didn't really finish finish because I still got like a finished coat to put on. But I went ahead and put like a, uh, I painted some of the trees. I just want to go ahead and show you that. So this is kind of what you can, you know, kind of expect. After you do finish them, you can leave them, paint them, and uh, burn them. Whatever you want to do. And then I'll come back over top of this and like put a cabbage and stuff on it. You know, once it all gets dried out and stuff. As you can tell, I'm just making a bunch of trees right now. <laughs> But anyways, just want to show you. All right, y'all have a good day.